Hello and welcome to Hexus Gaming. We're back at long last. We're gonna check out some of the new Scorn Prologue. Prologue, rather. <laughs> oh, I always say words wrong. It's great. Love it. So yeah, we're gonna check out some Scorn. See how gross great it is. Hopefully you guys enjoy the show. So I guess without further ado, let's get into it. Alrighty, so here's our loading screen. Absolutely gorgeous. I try not to talk too terribly much because I feel like if I chat too much it might kind of take away from things. So for the most part I may be fairly silent as I'm dem demoing this for you guys. I've played through here a couple times, um, like three or four times now. <laughs> so let's get into it. This looks so good. Oh. Ouch. Oh, brutal. That had to hurt. That would sting like hell. Here we are. Just gonna walk into the lights so I can show you how awesome the body looks on this. Like, they did an amazing job. <laughs> Comes from Detroit, missing all his skin. Ah, that's great. Ah, oh, you make me laugh, dude. That's awesome. Nope, nope. Can't have shit in, in Detroit. Can't even have your own skin. But yeah, it just looks so incredible. And we're coming into the first chamber. Got some machinery. All right. 
this may possibly be Detroit in the far future. Who knows? Sorry to everyone in Detroit. <laughs> You look adorable. And now will be every 10-year-old boy the first time he gets alone with a vacuum cleaner. That was mean. But I got a new toy. Let's put our new toy to use. Oh, it's so gross. Great. He's just like, oh, do I really got to put my hand in this thing? Oh, I know, and the whole concept that they were talking about when they were starting working on this was video game as art. It's going to be a tough decision. Do I do the lethal or the non-lethal solution to the puzzle? You know what? I always do the non-lethal one, so I am going to go ahead and... Eh, no, I'm going to still do the non-lethal because all the YouTube videos that I've watched so far have all been the lethal solution, so... Yeah, what does that machine do? And then we got this one over here. This is really cool. The machine just like swallows your head. Okay, so...
I believe that's the right setup. Let's go double check it. So we have the track set to go to this room here. And the one thing that I've noticed from my couple of playthroughs so far is that there are hints to things like you kind of have to think about uh, how how does this machine possibly work with that machine. Okay, yes, we are set to the correct room. What does this do? It does this. That doesn't look brutal at all. Sixty four? No, this is a uh, forty inch. And I'm not playing in four K. I don't have four K capability. <laughs> okay, we were just here. All right. Yeah, I have my setup. I'm like, I don't know, six feet away from the TV ish. So there's the hints to the puzzle. Well, the main the main big room puzzle on this part. So let's go upstairs. Put my fingers in the holes. Nice. Yeah, eventually I would like to get a bit larger screen, but for now, this works. All right. Let's see how fluidly I can solve the puzzle for you guys.
All right, let's grab that egg. It broke. Well then. Try the next one. So the next one is a pear. And because you got all this other crap blocking it, well that makes it kind of difficult, so. <laughs> oh, the first time I did this, it was so painful. And do I want that one there? I think I want it up there. You know, I think I might have messed up. Uh, let me think. Uh, yes, I kind of did. You over here. Uh, I think this is going to be painful, guys. Sorry. <laughs> I messed it up just slightly. I forgot to grab that other single one there. I think I cocked it up. Ah. Yep, yep, this is going to be painful. I feel like I just went in a circle there. I need this one out of the way again. 
And uh, nope. Oh my god. <laughs> I was doing good till I was not doing good. And then I just screwed up. I need one of these single ones to be shuffled. So what's going on is I have one that's kind of in the way here. feel dumb. There we go. Yay, it didn't break. Got me, my dude. Bye, little dude. We'll see you soon. Alrighty. Now we gotta go back downstairs and find our little dude. What updates that? <laughs> well, I'm glad it was a little bit faster than the last guy that you watched. <laughs> I, I, I honestly felt like that was slightly painful to, to watch because I kind of cocked it up a couple times there. <laughs> it's like, oh, I put that one in the wrong spot again. All right. So let's go get our little egg dude. Oh, the game hasn't officially released yet. I am playing the Kickstarter pro prologue.
So this is not official release. This is uh, the Kickstarter prologue that everybody who contributed to the Kickstarter got. Alrighty, come here, egg dude. Gotta love how he just like puts his hand on the thing and he's like, I'm ready to go, dude. Let's do this. No, it is indeed releasing on the 14th. Um, last I checked, it was seven hours to go. All right. I'm sorry, little dude, but this has to happen. Just a little kiss. Yes, I know. I know. You're in shock. I get it. That sucked. He's just like, I gotta check out this new haircut I got. Don't worry, buddy. We're gonna give you the ultimate makeover. Alrighty, time to operate the Abductomatic 4000. You're okay, little guy. For now. I love how it's just like a perfect fit. All right, more terrible stuff to come to come. Oh, I know, it's so well done. Like, it's just the gore and the textures, it's just like finely tuned. I've been a fan of H.R. Geiger since. since grade 12. <laughs> so I was like 15 years, 16 years, something like that, ever since I first watched the first Alien movie. Poor guy. Come on, bud. You can get up. You got this. I believe in you.
Shock and trauma. Shock and trauma. All right, buddy. I got something really cool to show you. Come on. Yeah, Alien was such a good movie. The whole franchise, just amazing. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Come here, dude. I got this really cool thing to show you. All right, let me help you. So cool. Check it out. Uh, so brutal. So brutal. All right, now I need you to do me a favor here, buddy. Oh yeah, the face huggers were always really cool. I was very partial to the uh, xenomorph, uh, the adult. Most likely, uh, I'd say the uh, adult ones. The uh, not the drones, but the warriors. They were one of the coolest looking ones. All right, now just stay there and hold that for me, and I'm going to quickly step over here. You're doing great, buddy. Thank you for your service. It does kind of bother me, the fact that you can't release him from that. It's kind of like, you know. What do you do? Oh, that did not sound good. Something happened to him after the door closed, and we will never know what. But the artwork does have a very uh, Xenomorph Hive feel to it. But that's because it's so strongly based on Geiger's work. Oh, that was a nice creepy touch. So the big question here is like, what's this machinery doing with all these bodies, right? What's going on? Is this how they power their society through flesh? Everything's just powered on ground up flesh? It's one of my theories.
Oh, I didn't notice that on my last few playthroughs. There's some of that tendril stuff coming out of that one pipe there. I had also wondered about the hive mind thing as well. I'm thinking possibly like a cordyceps kind of virus. They got in and infected things and is causing all this crazy shit to happen. I don't know. We'll find out. Oh yeah, doom face. Mm. Got me my big gun. New toy. Let's go get her done. But yeah, one of my theories and thoughts on this is that perhaps you're one of these critters that broke away from the hive mind by being infected by like a cordyceps zombie-ish type thing and you think you're doing things to help and fixing things and making things better but you're actually inadvertently making things much much worse ah penis Let's see if we can make it through here without getting sprayed. Now let's go do the same to the other side here. Oh god, another giant chode. Alright, so this part makes me, uh, the sound this thing makes gets me every time. 
Sounds like cartilage snapping as he turns it. Yeah, except much, much worse. <laughs> I like the sound of my neck when I crack it. That just, oh, something about it. Maybe it's the wet sound that goes along with it. But at the same time, it's satisfying, like, oh, it's gross great. So gross great. Oh, I know, I can't wait for the full release. So excited. Uh, I feel like I'm missing something. I still need to play Subnautica. My bestie plays it, and she says it's actually absolutely incredible. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. All right, here we go. One more time. Oh, it's so gross and satisfying all at the same time. So disgustingly beautiful. So yeah, the prologue kind of plays like an eldritch horror where right you you wake up in the same position that you finish it in. So it's like, it's the same thing happening over and over and over again. So you get the whole Lovecraftian, uh, the R Lovecraftian horror type deal, which is really, really cool. I feel like they've done an absolutely gorgeous job on the prologue. I can't wait to jump in. Uh, the game should be ready for us to start downloading in, I think, about six to seven hours, something like that. But yeah, super excited. Uh, I'm not going to be able to start streaming it ex as soon as it comes out because I'm going to be sleeping and working. <laughs> but I'm definitely planning on streaming some more of this on the weekend once it releases. So I look forward to seeing you guys Saturday, Sunday. Not sure how long the streams will be, but probably at least an hour per stream. I wish I could show you more, but... That's all that they've released to us so far. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed watching that. I know I really enjoyed playing it. Uh, like I said at the beginning of this, I've played through it. That's probably the fifth or sixth playthrough that I've done. And it's, it's just as incredible every time I play through. And I'm always noticing new stuff as well. Every time I've played through, I've noticed something new about it. 
like for example the red pipes. Some of the red pipes are intact. Some of the red pipes are cut and they're spewing like a grayish liquid onto the ground. And if you look into those pits that are around, you notice that 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 goo that's in the pits is kind of the, kind of a similar color. So that's where I'm drawing the uh, society powered by flesh. And then the machines taking in or spitting out the bodies. So yeah, who knows? Perhaps uh, sentient life is just a byproduct of this machine. Or it could be that sentient life is the flesh that binds everything together and powers everything. But it's going to be really cool to play through this and draw our own conclusions in that. So as they said, there's going to be absolutely no dialogue throughout the entire game. Uh, the environment and the gameplay is the story. And they're going for a more of an artwork as, uh, sorry, video game as artwork. So it's going to be very, very interesting. And it looks like everything has been lovingly crafted to turn your skin and just make everything crawl and feel gross great at the same time. <laughs> But yeah, definitely looking forward to seeing you guys later for streaming some more of this. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. We'll catch you next time.